People experience nature in a lot of different ways, through arts, maybe through nature photography or drawing or painting, through outdoor activities such as hiking or fishing or canoeing. Um, and at Nature Up North, we really try to expose people to a wide variety of different ways of interacting with nature and recognize that uh, people see the natural world through a range of different lenses. Nature Up North, through our virtual nature center, natureupnorth.org, encourages North Country residents to use technology to further engage and experience the natural world. One of the things that I love about this place is that it's pretty open and there aren't a whole lot of people here. We're really geographically dispersed and there's not a lot of centers of high population density. So having a, a nature center that's online is really accessible to everyone without having to drive 45 minutes or an hour to a physical place. One of the neat features about our website that really helps people engage interactively is what we call the encounter feature. This allows people to post uh, pictures and narratives about experiences and observations they've had in the natural world. Not only does each encounter provide a neat observation about the natural world, but collectively, by putting all of these encounters together into our master database, we're starting to build really a reference library of what species do we see at what different times of year, and that database also enables us to monitor change over time. Nature isn't something that should just be studied from a textbook or inside the classroom. Uh, and you can actually teach a lot of science outside doing hands-on nature-based activities. It, it would be possible to teach science just outside. I think it's important to use the outdoors as a classroom because too much of the time environmental education is taught through a TV, through a computer, and it's kind of like eating ice cream with the sock on your tongue. It's like you're not getting the full real deal. One of the things I really enjoy about the work I do with Nature Up North is getting to work with K-12 teachers who are so excited about getting kids meaningful environmental education experiences. Kids love to be outside and when you see a kid getting their hands dirty, learning how to sample streams to understand water quality, um, not only do you get the sense that they're learning some important skills and important information about the natural world that they live in, but you can really see the results. Their enthusiasm is increased, they're happy, they're excited, they're, um, they apply what we've learned in the classroom and they, they find evidence of something that we've read about or talked about or I've talked them about and they're just like light bulbs just go off, you know, and that's really exciting to see. During all four seasons of the year, we run events that are free and open to the public and designed to help engage people further with nature in new and interesting ways. These events really span a large range of interests and include things like family-oriented letterboxing, intro to fishing clinics for young people, hikes to recognize wild edible plants, and just basic intro to paddling lessons. One of the activities we do that's really fun for all ages are community campfires where we host a campfire, we bring the s'mores and invite local entertainers to help us spend an evening outside enjoying nature. I'm really glad Nature Up North is um, getting going because it's, uh, it's a need that we have that can connect educators and the public um, to appreciate what we do have and enhance what we have. There's a lot of ways you can get involved in Nature Up North, whether it's through visiting our website and posting an encounter, attending one of our events, or participating in one of our citizen science projects. And whatever way you choose to get involved, if many of us participate in the same way, it really helps build and deepen our sense of community here in the North Country.